are going to check the diesel engine components. The first element is uh, the block, the block of the engine and the head gasket. The second component, the block is the most important part. Right now we are going to check in details what happened in the blocks. And we have a, a chapter dedicated exclusive to study the blocks, the cylinders, the different type of cylinder liners, and the procedure to replace the cylinder liners. That this is other chapter. Today is basically the, 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 the basic concept about the composition of a diesel engine. The second part is the head. The head is bolted over, over the block in order to close the cylinders uh, on the heads. Uh, right now we are going to check are the valves and uh, the rocker arms and, uh, and the training valves. We are going to do a project. We are going to repair a head valve completely. In the, in the next slide, we are going to check a little more details the block. The block of a, a diesel engines normally have two different types of cylinders dry cylinders or wet cylinders. The dry cil cylinders are inserted permanent on the block and the wet cylinders are removable. You can replace those wet cylinders and, and you can replace uh, those, those cylinders. This is an advantage because uh, if you have a problem in one cylinder, you can replace only the slip of that particular cylinder and you can fix it only one cylinder. This is a good advantage. For that reason, 90% or more of uh, the diesel, marine diesel engines, they have wet slips. Those slips are wet slips. Because the coolant, the coolant is surrounding, is surrounding the slip in order to keep lower temperature. This is excellent. In a typical diesel engine, you have the crankshaft gear, the camshaft gear, and the, and the fuel injection pump gear working together. Those, those, they, they are working together and they should be aligned with those marks. Those marks should be aligned in order to put the engine on time. Yeah, this is a, a, a special a mechanical fuel injection pump in line. In the previous, in the previous uh, slide, we have a, a slide, uh, uh, we have a, a fuel injection pump a rotary. There are different types of fuel injection pumps. We are going to study later each type of fuel injection pump. This is a mechanical fuel injection pump in line, and uh, the, the gear of the fuel injection pump engage with the gear of the camshaft and engage with the gear of the crankshaft in order to put the engine on time. All right? In some engines, uh, the fuel injection pump is not is not mechanical. It's electronic fuel injection pump and the electronic fuel injection pump receives the signal from the computer or ECM. The computer is connected with the harness of the engine and each pin, each pin in the computer is dedicated for one specific element. The red one in this particular case is for the fuel injection pump, the blue one here is for the solenoid, the other one is for the injectors. This is the ECM. This is a, a, a diesel engine with electronic control module or, uh, or uh, electronic fuel injection. This is a specific uh, diesel engine with a common rail fuel injection. We are going to learn that procedure. And in this particular case, in this particular case, the timing is only between the camshaft and the crankshaft. The fuel injection pump uh, don't need to be connected on time with the system. We are going to talk later about that situation. In this particular case, in the first example, I have a configuration that is uh, four cylinders, a straight, a straight four cylinders uh, in line. Uh, in the second configuration is a V configuration. Uh, it's a, in this particular case, it's a V6 engine, but uh, there are V, V, V8, V12, and V16. A lot of uh, Detroit diesel, they, they are very common in V12 and V16. In uh, other type of configuration, and this is the most common, the inline configuration and the V configuration. Very, very common in marine applications. And uh, this is the rotary, uh, uh, the radial, the radial engines, very common in aviation. And, uh, and the, the, the verticals opposite uh, is not common in aviation, uh, in marine. This is a, a typical straight block with the three cylinders in line. And uh, those cylinders are wet cylinders because uh, you have a space here for the coolant. 
have a space here for the coolant. This is the typical straight cylinder, this is the flat configuration, and this is the V configuration, very, very common in.